this is the Casino Cups compilation parts 41 through 60. Subscribe if you're new and smash that like button! Guesterific asked, hey Cup Bros, have you experienced being the victim of a prank from the other casino staff? I guess, but their pranks are more like flat out murder attempts. Occasionally, someone will try to trip us during work or run at us with a saw in hand. They don't do it as much anymore. Probably afraid I'll turn the tables on them again. <laughs> Actually, they're afraid of making King Dice mad. Shut up, Bugman. I'm just telling the truth. Anonymous asked, does Mugman sometimes practice trying to confess to Calamaria at home? Like, he talks to the days he has practiced? What? Why, why, why would I do that? that, that that's weird. <laughs> Maybe so, but you still talk a great lot about it to the Daisy. No, no. I don't know who told you that. I thought the Daisy couldn't talk. I can hear you. It's like you're delivering a speech. Like, I'm just sitting there minding my own business, and then suddenly you pull a Shakespeare and have another monologue. It's pathetic. You sound like a bootleg Romeo. If that's seriously how you're planning on asking her out, then Mug's brother, she's not going to make it through your six paragraphs because she'll die of boredom. Honestly, I'm ready to set you two up together if it means I won't have to hear another speech. <laughs> Wait, really? I mean, will it stop the pathetic speeches? Yes. Great, I'll organize the entire wedding. N now, hold on a minute. Bonus. Kala, will you go out with me? <laughs> this isn't helping at all. Cosmic Synthetics asks, King Dice, would you be willing to rate your employees from least to most favorite? Excuse me, I don't play favorites with my crew, mind you. That's baloney. Well, I ain't at the bottom. Sure, this is accurate? My calculation should be most accurate. Um, how is my future vision supposed to help with this again? It's not accurate at all. We should be at the top. The king loves us. He loves you? Wait, who are you? I don't even know your name. Get out of here! Anonymous asked, Hey, cups, mugs, what's your fondest memory of your childhood? Fondest memory of childhood, oh boy, um, sometimes I forget we're not children anymore. Yeah, me too. I guess just roaming and exploring the woods. <laughs> I remember you fell in the creek. Yeah, you tried fishing me out with a butterfly net. <laughs> or that time when Elder Kettle took us to the city. Oh yeah, I miss seeing everything for the first time. Actually... You know what's my fondest memory of childhood? Just childhood in general. Like being able to wake up and think, wow, I'm so young, I can do whatever I want and not worry about anything. The world is mine. Is that really what you thought every time you woke up? Well, not really, but you get what I mean. Cuphead was more like, wow, I'm so young, I'm gonna gamble our souls away. <laughs> Blushy Bits said, I should have saved this as a question for the ask box, but I wanted to draw this out so bad. He sleeps like this or this. <laughs> I love it. It's like a giant plant pup, but he's a dog. <laughs> Anonymous said, Hey, Mrs. Devil, do you have any favorite devils? Uh, Mrs. Devil. I, I don't get it. Are you trying to make it a running gag or something? Whatever, favorite devils, uh, let's see. Who makes me mad the least? Uh, let's go with Lilith. Nightshade's book corner said, King Dice, where do you get your suits? The demon tailors here at the casino make them. Uh, sir, sir, you, um, <clears throat> Huh? What is it? There are, uh, <clears throat> there's, a. Uh... <clears throat> Um, just, just here, L look. <laughs> uh? The sides. Huh? Cuphead! What did I do now? Care to explain? Oh, oh, uh, th th that wasn't me. That was actually Mugman. Oh, no, Cuphead. Don't you dare pin this on me. No, 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 Cups. You do not expect me to get you out of this one like you always do. Wait, wait, Mugs, but... I'm done rescuing you. You actually... Take responsibility for your actions for once. I... What? 
Look who's talking! All right, enough of this. My office now. Wait, no, I'm telling the truth. I'm innocent for once. Fox, tell it! I swear, I'm going to make you do nothing but clean the bathrooms for the entire year. Mugs, come on, Mugs. <laughs> uh, he's a monster! The sleepy Ezra asked, To Devil and Dice, why did you hire the Cup Bros? I have my reasons. Besides, didn't I honestly huh? don't know anymore? Oh. I just don't know why we agreed to put up with them and their pranks. Oh. <laughs> they got you again, didn't they? <laughs> Black Cat in a Pink Vest asked, Hey Mugman, I know how much you like shuffling cards. Do you have any card tricks you like showing off? I got a few, but most of them are just fancy shuffling moves. There's one that I learned recently where I make it look like I made the card change pictures. It sounds kind of simple, but it actually took a while to get the hang of. But it's worth it. Ramen is real asked, I know this might seem dumb, but since King Dice and the brothers don't have necks, can they switch heads and control each other? Thankfully, that is not how it works. Okay, on three. One, two, three. If we put our heads on a body that ain't ours, it won't stay on. Unless you've got good balance. No! Ah! All you get is... Dang it! Ow, 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 ow. A mess. Oh, you stepped on my face! Wetcat12 asked, So, what's everybody's, if you have any, favorite customer? Most of the people that come around regularly enough to be favorites usually fall in boss's hands in the end, so... Yeah. Well, there's this one fella who shows up every now and then. And he's always got a story up his sleeve. I just like listening to him. I like everyone. Brown and Beard used to be a favorite of mine. My favorites are the ones that throw a tantrum when they lose. Like you? Uh, not really, but there were these two guys that I met who were pretty cool. Cuphead, they were gangsters, and you annoyed them so much they were gonna shoot you if King Dice wasn't there. As for me, well, I guess I met this flower. She only came about a couple of times. Her name was Tuli, I think. Yeah, you two got so chatty, Dice had to come and drag you back to work. Most of the crew knows better than to grow attached to the customers. It's usually the customers that grow attached most of the time. And can you blame them? Who can resist our charms? <laughs> <laughs> Zans Blue MJ said, Cuphead, could you sing True Colors from Justin Timberlake? It's hard to take courage in a world full of people <laughs> you can lose sight of it all. <laughs> this is the nonsense you want me to sing? Couldn't you have chosen something less sappy? Wait, what's happening over there? Cuphead's gonna sing for us! What? No, I never! He even got a song request! No! Wait, no way! No, I... Shh, come on, Cup, sing for us then! What? No! Yay! Everyone! Cuphead's gonna sing for us! I ain't gonna! And it had better be good! I never said I'd do it! Please don't. Oh, sorry. I must have misheard. Oh, I'm gonna kick your butt, Mugman. Chris LeDemon said, Ah! Now's my chance! Cuphead and Mugman, have you ever gone on a date with anyone? If so, did you enjoy the person's company? Well, I, uh... Neither one of us have ever been on dates. Which is a little disappointing for our age. Really? I would call it an achievement. Boris Cromwell 23 asked, So guys, what is your next prank going to be, and who will you pull it on? Hmm, I've been wanting to do one on dice, but I can't think of anything good enough. Of course. Seriously, brother, give the pranks a rest. Zans Blue MJ said, Bugman, are you and your brother studying? You know, going to college? No, we never even went to middle school or anything like that, though. I guess I do study in my own way. Anonymous said, Hello, Cup and Mug. What are your favorite kinds of foods and drinks? Both non-alcoholic and, if you do drink it, which I think you do, alcoholic drinks. That's honestly kind of a hard question. There's a lot to choose from, but I guess there is this bakery down the road that's got the best stuff, especially the pretzels. As for drinks, I like sweet ones. Cola's pretty good. And of course, na-na. I can't really decide, but, uh, 
All right, so I don't mean to advertise or anything, but the casino serves this gourmet steak and salad, and I tried it once, but it's probably one of the best things I ever ate. And drinks, um, I guess I like hot chocolate, and, well, water. It's the only real healthy drink around. I also really like some of the casino's cocktails. It's so with alcohol, thin. I don't really want to pick favorites. I kind of want to lay low on the alcohol now. Not for real, he likes gin. Come on, shut up! Oh, my man's feisty when he hasn't had a drink. <laughs> Anonymous says, gender swap for cup bros, dice, and the devil? The artist says, okay, so I have no clue how to properly gender swap, and I am so repulsed by what I drew, but... <laughs> Just freaking put eyelashes on them and gave Mugman a skirt. Mug lady? Mug ma'am? <laughs> we got queen dice. Luck be a lady tonight, right? Am I right? You see? <laughs> and the devil is just the devil, but it's a different devil, right? <laughs> Give me XC15 said, King Dice, let me kiss you. I give soul to devil. Alright, I'll be honest. This one kinda scares me. Anonymous said, Mugman, I saw that pearl in your room. Was that a gift from Kala or a gift to Kala? It was a gift from her. She found it in a sunken ship from one of her adventures and decided to give it to me. Wait, does Kala maybe have a thing for Mugman? What? Yes, please. Zan's Blue MJ said, King Dice, do you consider the cup bros like brothers or just annoying employees? Friends? Nuisances. Sworn enemies! Anonymous said, what did Dr. Call ask for in exchange for his soul? The doctor wasn't the one who made the deal. His robot did. Emphasis on did. The robot didn't even have a soul. But one of my idiot demons blindly signed him up for the deal anyway. So I turned the demon into a chair. But anyway, what the robot wanted was to be more human. Emotions, conscience, all the rest. Can't find good help anywhere these days. He made a nice chair though, it's pretty comfortable. I make it a point to fart on it whenever possible. <laughs> and Popcorn Fandom said, Dice, why did you ever go to the casino in the first place? And do you still like it there? Well, I made a deal. I didn't exactly have a choice not to go. Of course, back then, I thought it would be terrible. I thought I was just gonna be mincemeat for the demons working under the monstrous devil. But no, I was a dealer and the devil turned out to be just a boss hiring employees. In his own way. And if you play your cards right, you'll learn to love the place. I did, and heck, I fixed the place up. It was tasteless before I showed up. For which you're welcome, by the way. Oh, what would I do without you, King? <laughs> Ooh, shading, look at that. Pranko shaded this one, this is beautiful. Sans Blue MJ said, Cup Bros, if you could travel back any time in your life, where and why would you travel? Also, Bright Goat, you're awesome! Hmm, hard to say. Mugman, where should we go? Oh, way back! Be young and dumb again. You talk like some old guy. We're still young and dumb, Gramps. You are. I'm just young. Wow, okay, thanks. Whatever, I would go back to when we freed everyone and had that huge celebration. Oh yeah, everyone got together. Even Kala and Briny Beard got along for the day. <laughs> far back enough for you, wise guy. Yeah, yeah, far back enough. Back to the woods. Back to Elder Kettle and Chalice. Zans Blue MJ said, Devil, you need a hug. We are all here for you. No thanks, I can do without, no. Sure. Joe. Doodle Jane said, Hey Devil and Dice, would you two be willing to kiss without anyone selling their soul? Or anything in general? Uh, mm. <laughs> Anonymous said, I want to see more of that cute little Daisy. Who does the Daisy like most? Cuphead or Mugman? Uh, I don't know. Well, old guy, do you have a favorite? Psst, pick me! Pick me! Uh, where are you going? <coughs> Beaten by a flower. It's like Cagney all over again. Beast Chris Bliss asked, 
Hey, devs! Why did I call him that? What do you and Dice do for fun? Do you two do fun stuff or hang out at all? Mm, nope. Our relationship is strictly professional. Absolutely. Only on business. That's right. Actually, you know what? I think I'll have this one. Sure, just business, uh-huh. <laughs> Anonymous said, Hey, King Dice, do you have any family? If so, do you ever miss them at all? Um, I had a family, yes. Most of them are probably off burning in heck, but that's nothing new. Because the thing is that my relatives weren't the kind of people you would miss. <sighs> but you know what? Family doesn't have to stop at relatives. Cheers, Dice. Cheers! Anonymous asked, does the little daisy guy have a name? Well, we don't know since he can't really talk and tell us. We should give him one then. I say we name him Daisington Seedling Planter Little Geis Incarnation. Daisy for short. Uh, I was thinking something simpler. No, no, no. If we're gonna give him an obnoxiously long name, we gotta do it right. Okay. Daisington Seedling Bellis Perennius Little Gynus Carnation. Wait, what's the difference? We gotta put the scientific name in there for good measure. All oh, right, you're a nerd. So what do you think? I think he likes it. Did you remember the whole thing? Uh, I remember the daisy part. You're a boob. I know. JD Killzone said, I'd just like to compliment Mr. Dice on his wide array of musical abilities and style. Not many guys like you, and they're all way too rich for the likes of me. Ah, well, that's too bad. If you'd give me the honor, I'd love to try and change your mind. Let it be my way of repaying your lovely compliment. King Dice is smooth, all right. <laughs> Squareheart asked, This might be a sensitive topic for you guys, cups and mugs, but how did you react when Elder Kettle died? Yeah, why are you asking us that? How do you expect? Well, we were, we were devastated, obviously. We didn't know what to do, but there was nothing we could do. He was old and sick, and we could hardly afford a proper doctor, and I understand that these things happen, but Cuphead didn't at first. It's like, he refused to move on, but it's just something you accept. And it was scary, being on our own. It was around the time Chalice disappeared as well, but at least we still had our friends, even though Cuphead always refused to accept help. But things got better, you know? Because no matter what, life goes on. And Lady Zalgressa said, I really hope Cagney is okay. Cagney, if you're okay, please let us know. Oh yeah, don't you worry, I'm absolutely okay. I am so okay, just perfect! Oi! Who you talking to, Ginger? Please help, I'm so not okay. Camadiel said, Mr. King Dice, what do you mean by your cousin being a good liar for your sake? I mean that if it wasn't for the many, many times she had to lie at gunpoint to get me out of the many, many messes I got myself into, yours truly here would have ended up with a bullet in his head at the age of eight. And even with the many, many times when I promised her I would pay her back, I was never able to do it. Huh. Okay, that's enough strolls down memory lane. I've lost count of how many drinks I've had. <laughs> Ultimarin Empire asked, So, King Dice, your new eyes let you see what a person's soul is like, right? What do you see if you look at the devil? Well, 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 somebody did their homework. Yes, a bonus of the contract I signed to become manager was that I would be given eyes that used to belong to a demon granting me the power to look inside people's souls. Can't see everything, of course, mostly just their most guilty desires. But it's more than enough to make the job easier and much, much more interesting. And, well, I'll admit, one day curiosity got the better of me, and I thought, what if I took a glance at the devil himself? 
And, well, honestly, I wasn't even surprised. He doesn't have a soul. So, when I decided to take a look, I just saw him looking back. Wolfie the Crazy Wolf said, Devil, does King Dice know that you used to be an angel? If so, what does he think or say about it? He knows. It's a regrettably well-known fact. And, well, there isn't much to say on it except for... Stuff happens. At least he didn't assume I wanted to be one again. And Kimmy XC15 said, But on a serious note, I want to know how the devil became, well, the devil. Also, devil. You read. Uh, inside, I was always the devil. It was just that sometimes I kept my mouth shut, and other times I didn't. <laughs> Anonymous asked, Hey, devil, you ever miss your brothers? Ha! <laughs> well, kinda hard to miss them. Some of them won't leave me alone. And believe me when I say this, they do not miss me. <laughs> Dice Roll Ball asked, Mugman, Cuphead, what do you know about the potion Elder Kettle gave you? The one that gave you those strange abilities. Are there more potions like that? Oh boy, Mugs, you gotta do your thing. The potion that Elder Kettle gave us. Yep, he's gonna do it. Here we go. The potion that granted us the power to shoot blasts from our very fingertips. The power to resurrect the dead. The power to cross the astral plane to become invincible as well as unleash our souls. Which have six packs. But what is the story behind this potion? And now that it is worn off, is there a way to bring it back? Elder Kettle told us many stories of ancient warriors who use potions just like this to fight evil. One of the warriors, of course, being the legendary Chalice, who is unfortunately still missing. The warriors came from an ancient society, the mighty Calyx Animi. The Cups of the Souls, their temple, or whatever remains of their kingdom, is hidden up in the mountains near the city, littered with wild satyrs, dragons, the cyclops, and government officials, as well as miners who have fenced off the area, not letting anyone in. So we sneak in there at night! Indeed! I believe the secret to the potion lies there, and the more we find out about it, the more we'll find out about our history! Heck yeah! Our heritage! Heck yeah! Our legacy! What I said before! I've tried hitting the library multiple times, but for some reason, they've got nothing on the giant temple that is literally right there! And none of the locals know anything. Except... Except for Forkington. He seems to have some sort of knowledge of the place. We even found some relics on display in his ha- er... mansion. He thinks all the stories are made up, though. True. Still, he seems to have some roots from the place as well. I still kinda wanna punch him, though. There's also Porkrind, who was away traveling somewhere. Everyone is missing! He obviously knows about it, though. He was a close friend of Elder Kettle's. Plus, and this might answer your question, he sold potions that enhanced the power we already had. But they only work if you've already taken the first potion. So they're just power-ups. Yes. He also sold charms and such that seem to also relate to the power. But anyways, moving on to what more do we know about it thanks to the temple? Now, I couldn't take pictures of what we found, so excuse my poor sketches that are somewhere in this pile of many, many notes. And stolen library books. Shut up. Ha! Exhibit A. This was found on one of the walls in the temple. As you can see, it shows the warriors at work. One of them is even using the third super art. And the repeating victims in the paintings are, would you know it? Demons! Which is why we're not turning to the devil for answers. No. Nope. Even though he's an immortal being that's basically as old as the planet we walk on, and he knows everything. It's our secret. Now, Exhibit B, which displays the healing side of the potion. Resurrection of the dead. By slapping the ghost back into the body. Body, which is also healed in the process, which is interesting. What is also interesting is that it looks like they were able to do it over longer periods of time. Well, we only had a few seconds to parry. Which means the potion we had wasn't even at full strength. Also, as you've probably noticed, even though other dishes and even some humans were part of it, the only ones who were shown to use the power-ups are cups, vases, goblets. Probably because to take the potion, you gotta pour it into your head. Thus, we're the only ones who can use it. And since our soul is right in there, does it mix 
with it, because it doesn't react like other drinks. And so seems to be its theme. Most likely, it's right there in its name. Now, moving on. Thanks to the hidden chamber, whether it was concealed on purpose or by the rubble that Cuphead found on his journey with my good pal, Whiskey. You're welcome, by the way. Thank you, Cuphead. And... Thank you, Cuphead, and Cuphead's tendency to cause havoc, especially when under the influence of alcohol. Now, I believe that this chamber might be our start in finding out the true origin of the potion, starting with a picture who might be the legendary chalice. Looking like some goddess. And someone else who is holding... light? and surrounded by vials, vases, and alchemy symbols. We can only assume he brewed the potions. Or something. What about all the fancy writing we found there? Have you got more on that? Still in the process of deciphering it, it is much harder than it looks. Plus, a good lot of it is in some language I've never seen before, and I'm struggling to find anything on it. And there's still so much we don't know, so much to find out. Where did the potion's power actually come from? How was it made? Surely the power to empower and resurrect souls doesn't just come from nowhere. The only creatures that would naturally have powers like this are demons. And if it's not demons, then... Oh. Zansblue MJ said, Chalice, where are you hiding? Hiding? Where? I'm not hiding. <laughs> Though that's probably what it seems like, doesn't it? Maybe that's for the best. So they don't see me in this... state. Where am I, though? Truth be told, I can't really tell anymore. It feels like I'm in a dream. Sometimes I'm nowhere. Sometimes I'm... somewhere. Sometimes I'm back at the ruins. Sometimes... in a memory. Sometimes... Maybe this is purgatory. Or limbo. Or... Everyone just always assumes I'm nothing but evil. I punish evil. Isn't there some good in that? You crushed a man's head open today and enjoyed it. Because he was evil! Also, everybody has a guilty pleasure. Don't judge me. Mugman, heck is a safe space. <laughs> I'm a little late to this one, but... Boomblet said, this is for the main four. I don't know if you celebrate Halloween, but if you could choose a costume, what would it be? Oh, heck yeah, we celebrate Halloween. We used to go trick-or-treating all the time. Trick or treat We're a little too old to be doing it now, though. Don't you think? No way! Halloween's for everyone. Remember how you would come up with entire plans for a trick or prank on everyone who didn't give us candy? Oh, yeah! Honestly, I was always secretly hoping they wouldn't give us anything so that I could do my dirty work. Hey, I'm curious. Did you ever go trick-or-treating? Sometimes, if I could. It would be one of the only times of the year when I'd be able to get any sweets. Really? I went trick-or-treating sometimes as well. Wait, really? I would show up and go, Boo! Then scream, drop everything, and I would get more than just candy. <laughs> cool. If I would dress up now, I would dress up as an evil mad genius scientist. I could borrow Dr. Carl's coat. Wouldn't be too different from reality. Yep. I would dress as a demon. <laughs> what about you? Hmm, well, most people in the casino wouldn't bother to dress up. They're either a demon or in uniform. But I do think I can adapt my suit into something fitting. Something classy. You appropriating my kind? What? Uh-huh. Hey, have you ever dressed up for Halloween? Or do you not have to since you're, you know... Satan and all. Of course! Even not on Hallow's Eve, I used to dress up a lot as a priest and such. Priest? Perfect for messing with people, wouldn't you agree? Uh... Boomblet said, also, favorite type of candy? Anything and everything! Hmm, this is a hard choice. I really can't decide. Hmm, dark chocolate for me. Actually, same for me, just... Milk chocolate. Black licorice. Change my answer. Anything and everything except for that. Blech. Anonymous said, Pachinko, you're adorable. <laughs> Deep Sea Dweller Domain said, For the Cup Brothers, what are your guys' favorite breakfast items? Honestly, whatever's lying on the kitchen table. I ain't picky. Does coffee count as a breakfast item? 
Oh, so do you have any? Anime Angel Devil Lover said, To Mugman, since Cuphead really isn't into love at the moment, who do you think would be the best person to change that? I don't know. Some magical wizard that could change his entire personality? I don't know what to tell you guys. My brother's just not a romantic. Maximius Wood said, Devil, can I trade you my soul for two cats and an affordable apartment? An affordable apartment? If you're having financial problems, you know there's so much more you could ask for than for pets and shelter. You only have one soul, might as well go full out. This could set you for life. No need to act so humble. It's heck after all. But if you've made your final decision, please specify any further details and sign here. Come on guys, a soul is worth more than that. <laughs> P. Catluck is cool said, So, school just went back. What is our main four's opinion of school? Did they enjoy it, hate it, favorite subject, etc.? And I already hate most of my year group, so, Mr. Devil, is there any room in heck for me at the moment? Wait, did any of us ever go to school? Me and Mugs never did. Nope, not really. Uh, apparently it sucks. It can. You know, we sometimes use school scenarios on sinners down in heck. Really? Yep. For some people, it's absolute torture. Speaking of which, of course there's room in heck. What kind of separate infinite spiritual dimension do you think you're dealing with? Hang on, where are we? Though, I used to wish I could go to school. Yeah, me too. How come you never went? Couldn't afford it. And besides, school was deemed useless in my family. Oh yeah, we couldn't afford it either. And it would be too long to travel from the woods every day. I'm kind of glad, though. School sounds boring. You're forced to sit in a room and listen and write all day. Waste of a childhood, if you ask me. Yeah, you wouldn't enjoy it. Personally, I disagree with the schooling system. Youth should be free to run around, take on the world free of restraint, on a remote island for a year. Then we see who survived. That's what education should be. Devil. Satan. Boss. Kazitka said, Dear Mrs. Devil, allow me to explain the joke. It's because Dice is literally the one wearing the pants in this relationship. Sincerely, the Nudist Association of Inkwell. Er, uh, Mrs. Devil, Mrs. Devil, sir? Oh, what? So you want me to wear pants now? Is that what you want? Pants? <laughs> with, <laughs> with all due respect, boss, but... Contrary to popular belief, not all places are very keen on seeing you with your butt hanging out. Why not? I have a gorgeous butt. You agree? I know you do. <laughs> Whatever. You're not putting pants on me, nudist association of Inkwell. Your dreams are the only place where you'll be putting pants on me. <laughs> That sounded... Yeah, that sounded weird. <laughs> Anyways, I'm banning pants in the casino now. Wait, wait. Everyone, take off your pants! Oh, boy. Anyone seen wearing pants would be forced to eat them. Hear me? Someone stop him. Anonymous said, somebody needs to give the poor Daisy a hug. Aww. Where you head of ya? Come here, you. Melody 4 voice, Roadrunners in, kisses cheeks, and Roadrunners away! Me, me. I have no regrets! Huh? What the heck was that about? I've got some regrets if you need some! Furby Cerebell Stewart throws a Bible at the devil. You need Jesus! Oh wow, how did I never think of this? I can already feel my sins lifting. Truly a miracle. Hmm. Later. Hey, Dev, uh, boss, this guy asked me to give this to you. He said, wait, is that a rolled up Bible page? <laughs> yep. Wow, and everyone made a fuss when I glued the book to your desk. To be honest, it doesn't matter. They got everything wrong anyway. Oh. The glue did leave a stain, though. Whoops. Anyways, can I have one? Bad cuphead, no. Down, boy. <laughs> Let's go have fun stuff, Ast. You guys got a favorite TV show? Yeah, Bendy's show is pretty good. There's this show I sometimes watch on TV. It's called 
Evidenceless. It's a show about detectives trying to solve crime, and many of the crimes have actually happened in real life. And it's really interesting, and it's always full of riddles and puzzles that are really fun. Though, I guess Bendy's show is good too. Maximios Wood said, Daisy, could I please pat you on the head? If not, that's also okay. What do you say, buddy? A little pat doesn't hurt, right? <laughs> Maybe not. Sorry. Dash X Alexander said, Does anyone at the casino know Betty Boop? Oh, yes. We ran into her on a business trip recently. She really hit the spotlight with her performance. It's amazing, especially for her age. We also knew her back when she was a performer back at the circus. She ended up leaving, though. Probably a good thing. I saw one of her performances live in New York. Wow. Got to talk about show business a bit. She really is as talented as they say. I know. I wish I could meet her. I met her too. This one time she sleepwalked down to heck. Almost fell into a pit. Wait, wait, what? Oh, you told me about this one. Something I forgot to mention. She's a chronic sleepwalker. Wait, how do you manage to sleepwalk into heck? With a very intense imagination. That's right. When she woke up, she kept going on about a dream she had where she apparently froze all of heck with but a gaze. And she was convinced it really happened, even though there wasn't a single snowflake. I let her go on one condition. That she give my friend an autograph. Made his day. Wow. That was actually kind of nice. Shut up. He sold it on eBay and I got half the profit. Oh, now I see. You're still a jerk. And Lionish Mori said, Hey Devil, has it ever happened to you that someone trampled your tail by mistake? Oh yes. I then flung whoever did it across the room. By mistake. Jacqueline is coming for you, Said, Okay, so, hi Devil, I love you. I'm Jackie, and my sister loves you, Dice. I love you too, but Devil is more my type. But would either of you be interested in romance or dating? I am 100% available. The girl has a pure soul. A completely pure soul. Imagine the possibilities of having a completely pure soul. Is that supposed to be convincing? I think you might be overselling yourself there. That fact itself would just prove it's far from a pure soul. Besides, at this point in life, there's no such thing as a completely pure soul. But if there was, it won't be pure by the time I'm done with it. You know, if you're 100% available for this type, don't you dare even think you have a pure soul. <laughs> Lionish Mori said, King Dice, when did you start working at the casino? What did you do? Have you ever made cocktails? Well, I started working here about six years ago as a dealer. But I would also find myself on the stage or helping out at the bar. And yes, I've made cocktails and other beverages. Long before I even worked here, I... Uh... Cuphead! Cuphead... You, you're doing it wrong! What? How? And Linus Mori said, King Dice, what did you notice for the first time that you had green eyes? When I first became manager, and they were somehow magically put into my sockets. Kinda hard not to notice. Ask Sans Baron friend said, Does any part of the crew know Jelly the Octopus? Who? Who? Jelly? I don't... Jelly. Jelly. Wait, I know Jelly. Yeah? Yeah, kinda. Captain Brownie Beard once told me about how one day he was just walking around his deck when something dropped from the sky. At first, he thought it was an alien, but it turned out to be what he called a weird looking jellyfish with a clown makeover. And it said that its name is Jelly, and he lives in an airship in the sky, out of which he fell right on the captain's ship. They kept him prisoner for a while, but now they're showing him around the sea in town. Because apparently he's never been down to Earth before. Wow. Maybe they should get in touch with Hilda or Grimm. They know the skies well. Maybe they know something about this airship. Uh-huh. Wow. The world we live in. Mm-hmm. So he is an alien, right? <laughs> Ask Sans Baron friend said, Pachinko works here, so that makes me think, do the light and King Card work here too? The light? I know the light. Oh boy. He doesn't work here, but I saw him in a vision once. Here he is. This little green man. Can we just get on with the game? King Card. 
I don't think we have anyone named King Card working here. King Card, huh? Might you be talking about one of these? What? Three kings. <laughs> Dang it! Secret Angel 1000 said, Cuphead, can I hug you? I, I think we both need this. Please don't say no. I think if I needed a hug that bad, I would prefer for someone that I, uh, know. So, uh, yeah. I'm good. Thanks. Technically, he didn't say no. <laughs> Blue the Alpha said, Pip and Dot, what do you two do around the casino when not performing? Well, when we're not on stage, we're usually on break. Or welcoming guests to the casino. Sometimes get to know them. There's always newcomers. Before they end up staying forever. I think our charm helps lure them in, don't you think? Yeah, absolutely. We're very charming. Uh-huh. Yeah, we might as well be the most useful out of everyone. We are perfect. Okay, that's enough. Oh, uh, or sometimes we just swing by with our friends. Yeah. <laughs> Anonymous said, so is the devil a crybaby? As far as I am and everyone else in the casino is concerned, yes, yes he is. Could you? He sure was when we defeated him. Maybe not. Under all that menacing exterior, like you wouldn't believe. Attack me like this! Oh, wow. <laughs> so that's how it is. Sorry, boss. Just know that I have the power to kill everyone in this room. I have the power to hurl you all into the sun if I wanted to. Oh, come on. No shame in it. Come on, come here. Sorry, Beazel boss. I have the power to... <laughs> no shame. Ask Sans Baron friend said, How's Wally Jr. doing? After Wally was, from what I've gathered, eaten alive, what happened to him and who took care of him? An anonymous said, Question for Wally Warbles, Did you know that your paramedic sprinkled you with salt and pepper? I wasn't eaten alive! Alright, well, I almost did. They did sprinkle me and stuff, those cannibal paramedics. When signing up for instant health insurance, watch out for those freaks. My son shot them down before they could have done anything. And speaking of him, he's been just fine. Growing strong and smart, very smart. He's been taking classes from that scientist guy, Dr. Carl? Carl? Ah, whatever. Anyway, my boy's got big plans, and I couldn't be more proud. And Ask Sans Baron friend said, I just realized, how did Wally have a kid? He's male, and I've never heard of him having a girlfriend. All right, so, oh boy, I wasn't, I wasn't always a bird. I used to be just a regular old cuckoo clock. And he, he was a part of me. And when I became an actual bird, thanks to my deal, he came to life as well. So I got both feathers and a son. You know what I think that is the first time I have voiced Wally Warbles. Let me know, have I done that voice before? Little Devil Darling Stuff said, Hey Devil, have you ever heard of Alice Angel? Alice Angel, Alice Angel. Um, oh yeah, wait, isn't she a character from that dumb show you watch? Yeah, hey, it's not dumb. Uh, it kind of is. But you watched it. Yeah, and then I stopped because it was dumb. <laughs> That's good. Anonymous asked, you two ever wonder what it would be like to be conjoined twins? I know those twin girls who went through something similar. Like Pip and Dot? That would be really weird. And inconvenient. Things are usually harder for twins like that. Most die at birth. But how does it work? Would we have to drag each other around or... Though, honestly, I get dragged into all of your shenanigans anyway, so that part wouldn't really change. Rude. Well, at least he admits it. Anonymous said, Cuphead, can I take your head and say, Alas, poor Cuphead, I knew him well. Sally already did that. Alas, poor Cuphead, I knew him well. Did you, though? I didn't get the reference. It's Hamlet, you boob! You see, we got Shakespeare references in here. This is highbrow humor, alright? Don't say I never taught you nothing. 
Anonymous said, hey, I just turned 21 this year, so I was wondering if y'all could recommend me some drinks that I should try out here. Tequila shots are popular for those on their first try. No, no, no. I think the Netherside cocktail would be nice for that. It's so good. Perfect amount of gin mixed with fruit and some mysterious ingredient from the depths of heck. Personally, I like the merry pitchfork. I say go for that. But if you're looking for something more simple and sweet, I suggest the blackjack rose. Or that, yeah. Or you can just save yourself the trouble and go for the long descent flame tea. It's got basically a bit of everything. Wait, did you ask if they were mortal before suggesting all that? Uh, oh yeah, some of the drinks here can kill you if you're mortal. Honestly, you can just go eeny meeny on the menu. Anything's good. Unless it kills you, then that's not so good. Anonymous said, Muggs, I heard Calamaria kissed you on the cheek. Yes? Oh boy. <laughs> yeah, she did. It was long ago though, but yeah. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> it was her way of saying thanks for saving my soul from eternal heck, but you know, read into it what you will. And P. Cat Luck is cool said, Fave time of day for the main four! Uh, I don't know. Whenever my shift ends? For me, I like late evenings. Maybe starting at around 8 or 9 p.m.? Oh yeah, you always stayed up. Hey, I'm a night owl. What can I say? It's why I like the night shift more. Plus, the casino's just better at night. Yeah, and I have to go on the night shift with you! For once, I get to drag you into something! Yeah, work! Out of all things! Actually, you know what time I like? Early mornings, like 6 a.m. early, when the sun's just up and hardly anyone's up. Ugh, morning? Really? Personally, I prefer the night over day, or at least a uh, late evening. When everyone in the city, which itself looks better at night, finishes work and lumbers on over into the casino to gamble and get drunk to forget the day. Time works a little differently down in the deeper layers of heck, but up here... Hmm... Let's say... From midnight until the day itself. Even though down here, it really doesn't make a difference. Anonymous said, For King Dice, have you ever had to use violence against a visitor? Other than the cup bros. Back before I was manager, yes. Every now and then a troublemaker would show up and start a drunk argument. Or a shootout. Nowadays, I don't have to get my hands as dirty. Leave that to the bouncers. Anonymous said, Hey Mugman, besides the fact that she's cute, is there any other reason that you like Calamaria? Also, in this universe, are Bendy and crew considered celebrities, or are they just 2D animated characters? Bendy and crew? Uh, I don't think they are. They're just cartoon characters. But it would be pretty cool if they were. <sighs> There's not enough fish in the sea to count all the reasons to like her. <laughs> she is sweet and pretty and understanding and cares deeply about marine life and interesting to talk to. And just, this might sound weird, but when I'm with her, it's like she's a reminder that there's still good in the world. and. But also fierce and strong and not afraid of anything. She can totally kick my butt and I wouldn't mind. Baby Bunny Bun said, Hey Devil, do you have any hobbies or interests? Over the many years I've existed, I might as well have picked up and dropped a whole lot of hobbies. Used to be insanely into calligraphy. But the interests that stayed with me all this time would include... Hmm... Torture, gambling, music, mortals, ruling, collecting souls, and other various petty things. Eating, sleeping, and of course, vengeance. And Anonymous said, Mugman, when did you meet Calamaria for the first time? How did you feel? I first met her some years ago when Cuppin and I fought her for her soul contract. We chased her on airplanes over the ocean and into a huge cave. Yeah, not the best first impression, I know. But it turned out fine when her soul was saved. I felt... I felt a lot of things. Um, embarrassed a little. Also terrified for my life and for my brother. I was small and 500 feet above the roaring ocean. And she killed me about five times and turned me to stone. And then I fell in love. And into the ocean. Yeah. Pretty bad first impression. <laughs> How romantic. <laughs> 
economist said, have the cup bros ever been to jail? I mean, you robbed a bank once and work for the devil. Ha! <laughs> like the cops could ever catch me in mugs. <laughs> Don't speak so soon. They're still investigating that bank robbery. We were lucky they couldn't catch our faces. Oh, come on. Admit it. You thought it was fun. Fun? I didn't even want to be a part of it. You and Chips tricked me into helping you. And besides, remember a while ago when we first moved in, you got arrested for being a public nuisance? I was just jumping over a few buildings. You were being a public nuisance, though. Psh. Nah. You were crying. No, I wasn't. Anyways, you were about to be on your way to the big house. So you came in and hijacked the police car I was in. <sighs> yes, I did that. Thanks for that, by the way. And then an announcement came onto the police radio that was meant to tell the cop the car was supposed to help with a robbery nearby. So we did what any responsible public nuisance and cop car hijacker would do. They crashed into the crime scene and helped catch the thief. So then, with enough mess off their hands, they decided to let you off with a warning. I think it was a nice redemption arc. You can even call it that. So that was our introduction to living in a big city. Considering that, it's only a matter of time before you end up behind bars. Eh, well, if it does ever come to that, I don't think I would survive in jail. The devil could just get us out. He's got more than enough money for that. What? You think I would spend as much as a dollar on you? Please? The day you go to jail is the day we celebrate. Oh. Hey, we'll even make it a public holiday. Wait, does that go for me as well? We'll see, Mugman, we'll see. Anonymous said, how does Muggs feel about Cups being an idiot? I manage. And don't call him that. Only I can do that. He's my idiot. <laughs> the Queen of France and her empire asked, So this is for everyone at the casino. Have all of you ever played Truth or Dare? And if so, what are some of the craziest things people have done or admitted? Since Cuphead's pranks are usually always so extreme, do any of you use it as a way to get back at him? Since I'm pretty sure he wouldn't say no to a dare ever. No, we haven't. But now that you mention it, let's play Truth or Dare. <sighs> Truth or dare? What are you, children? All right, Cuphead, truth or dare? Dare. Oh, boy. I dare you to go outside shirtless and sing at the top of your lungs. <laughs> boy, what you gonna oh, say no. there, gay? Oh, boy, Thanks. what you gonna say there, gay? Later. <laughs> Somebody threw a shoe at me. It was for a good cause. Then here's another good cause. I dare you to spend the rest of the game in a flapper dress. Howdy, fellas. How'd I look? Ha! <laughs> Take the boots off. Like you might bring this entire business down just with that. Anonymous said, Chips needs to kiss Wheezy. Truth or dare, truth or dare. Dare, come on, let's step it up. I dare you to kiss Wheezy. Uh, <laughs> no. No? Come over here and give me a kiss, no! big boy! <laughs> you know, half of the game won't work. Nobody here will say the truth. Well, at least the other half is entertaining. A kiss from Wheezy won't help his smoking addiction. Hey, Muggs, truth or dare? Um, dare, of course. I dare you to write a letter to Calamaria finally confessing to- Truth, truth, truth! All right, truth. What would you say in a letter like that? What? I, I, I don't know. I, I don't really think about it that much. <laughs> Truth, do you really not think about it, or are you lying? Uh, 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 Hold still! You're what? gonna give oh, a big let old me kiss! Go. Let me go! <laughs> no! And thanks so much for watching Casino Cups Part 41 through 60. If you enjoyed those pieces, be sure to leave a like on the video before you go. And if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button to join the BO crew. I post a new video every single day. Today in the comments, let me know what was your favorite part of the video. I think mine's when Cuphead's like, I'll set up your wedding, just stop being weird. <laughs>